The National Union of Mine Workers say they will not give up on their wage demands. Franz Baleni is the Secretary General of the NUM. Look, the strike is going ahead. We have try ev tried everything to persuade the employers to prevent the strike. Uh, from where our members are standing, the employers have invited the strike. We are willing um, to accept anything like 10 percent. The NUM is demanding an increase as much as 60 percent for entry-level underground miners. These workers earn around $300 per month, which the union says is not a living wage. Experts believe that in order to cope with the rising costs of housing, transport and food, the average person in South Africa needs at least $500 or more. Mining companies, on the other hand, believe that their inflation-linked offer of 6.5% is fair. What informs us, for us, is sustainability. We want to, after the wage negotiations, still have a gold mining industry. We still want uh, productivity. We still want the employees to have jobs. If there is a strike, then our next focus will be to make sure that the strike is as short as possible and, of course, that as peaceful as possible. Meanwhile, the mining companies say they are willing to make a concession through a profit-sharing agreement with the workers, but unions think it's a ploy to continue paying less wages. A possible strike on South Africa's gold mines could set the tone for future industrial relations. International investors are watching the situation closely, largely because a protracted strike on South Africa's gold mines could influence the international price of gold. Mining companies say they are trying to avert a strike, but it seems like a foregone conclusion. The only thing now is for the industry to brace itself for industrial action that will cost the industry about $35 million per day. Nerat Mbele, BBC News, Johannesburg.